Hello and welcome back to the Wellness Check. Today we're going to do what's called the basic exercise uh, and it's for helping to reset the vagus nerve. Vagus nerve has been around as long as humans have been around, but only recently in the past couple of years has it been a big buzzword in the mental health field. So what is the vagus nerve? Why is it important? And how do we know if it's dysregulated? Here's a bet. Here's even a, ba a very basic, easy exercise to get it back um, online and working more efficiently. Quick little synopsis. Vagus nerve is extremely important in how we feel within our own body, mind and soul, how we regulate what's happening around us, how we respond to the world around us on a daily basis. It helps with our creativity, um, our imagination, our social connectivity, and overall just kind of what we call homeostasis, balance, feeling pretty peaceful, connected, grounded. A lot of us are walking around with disrupted or dysregulated vagus nerves due to life experiences or chronic stress. These are just some of the factors that can disrupt how the vagus nerve is working. And it is a huge, huge, huge vein that goes from the base of your stem through your spinal cord and then innervates into your gut system. And as, well, you might have heard, and if not, I'll do another video on this, but how important the gut system is for our mental health. Maybe that'll be my next video. So this is a basic exercise. It actually comes from this book right here. I'm not sponsoring it. Oh, here we go. <laughs> um, they're not paying me. There's no sponsorship here. But this is an actually a, a pretty cool book. It's kind of fuzzy, but you can see it. This is a very deep read. This is not an easy read. Um, there's a lot of science and anatomy that go into this book, but it's actually really cool. And if you look at the back of the book, here's where you will find information with pictures on how to do certain exercises. Okay. Anyways, it's a cool book if you want to check it out. If not, I will give you one of the most important parts about this book, the basic exercise, how to regulate your vagus nerve, how to get it back online and feeling good. This is something that you can do sitting up in a chair or lying down. The recommendation is if this is something very new to you to try it lying down first on a couch, um, somewhere comfortable. You can even do this on your bed. And then as you work up to it, it's something that you can do sitting up, but everybody has their own preference. And I've found that people who might have uh, dizziness issues, maybe vertigo, do better with this exercise sitting up. But you can try both and see which works better for you. It's very simple. It's very odd. It's very different. Um, if you've been to therapy before, I don't know, you might not have done this in your therapist's office, but here it is. What you're going to do is interlace your hands just like this and put it behind your head. So it's right at the base of your skull right there. And it feels really good. And if you're lying down, then you can do this lying down too. Like I said, you're going to keep your head still. You're not going to move your head like this. And you're going to take your eyes and really move them as far as they can to one side. And you're going to hold this for about 30 to 60 seconds. So let me just show you what it looks like. I'm going to keep my head still and as far as I can go. It's hard not to turn your head in the beginning. You have this urge to turn. Don't do it. That's as far as I can go. Pretty comfortable. And all you do is hold it. 30 to 60 seconds. What you'll notice, this is just part one. What you'll notice is that within 30 to 60 seconds, your nervous system will start to reset. And how do we know? One, we might feel kind of tired. Two, we might yawn or sigh, which is a little bit different than just a breath. Um, you might start to just kind of blink more. And these are subtle signs that your nervous system are starting, is starting to regulate again. Very subtle signs. So you keep it. 30 to 60 seconds. Then you come back to center and then you do it the other side as far as your eyes can go. 
You don't have to think about anything. This is not meditation. You're just bringing your eyes to the side. 30 to 60 seconds on that side. Same thing. You might start to, start to notice maybe your shoulders coming down or the muscle tension starting to relax. Your breathing starting to regulate. Tired, sighing, yawning. These are all signs that, it, that this is really working. You can do this as many times as you need throughout the day. Um, when you're done, you just bring your hands down. If you're lying down, take some caution sitting up. Take your time sitting up. Some people can report feeling dizzy, like I said. So if you're feeling dizzy, that's just kind of all part of the process too. And if you have vertigo, just take your time sitting back up. And then kind of reset your eyes, bring them back to the middle focal point and see how you feel. The goal is to just kind of have a subtle difference, feeling calm, collected, rational, logical. This tool can be used as a preventative for anxiety, for panic attacks, for um, OCD symptomology, and it can also help reduce, right? So if you're already there, this is something simple, quick, and easy that you can do to bring that nervous system activity down a couple notches. My recommendation, if you're starting out, try it two to three times a day. Really, this is one of those exercises that it will work if you use it. If you do it once and then you never do it again and then you find yourself uncomfortable or out of the window of tolerance, anxious, etc., let's do it again. It will work as a preventative. So keep it consistent. I do this with my clients in my office. They love it. Sometimes we start our session with that. Sometimes we end our session with that. Sometimes we do it in the middle if somebody's feeling particularly activated or triggered in some sort of way. So there you go. The basic exercise. If there's a magic wand, this is one of the things that's as close as possible to that for making you feel better, calming your nervous system, and literally changing the neurobiology, resetting your vagus nerve. Thank you for joining in today and checking in with your wellness. I'll talk with you soon.